And I'm so happy to have a wonderful team. And that team lets me extend my knowledge and share it with all of you in a great way. And each of my team has a team. And thankfully, Darren Farwell has Farwell Management Team. And Leslie McCormick was here last week to stand in for him. She explained what to look for in the new re- investment report that we're all going to receive. And if you want to hear that interview, as I said, you can just log on to the website, marylins.ca. But we have Darren live and in person and smiling this morning. So good morning, Darren. Good morning, Marilyn. What do you have for us? Well, I'm going to talk about the thing that seems to be on, well, is on everyone's mind. That person that everyone seems to have something to say about, President Trump. (laughs) Now, I think the only distraction we've had over the last couple of months was the Super Bowl last weekend, which was quite exciting. And we had a great performance from Lady Gaga. But I'm going to talk not about the Super Bowl, but President Trump. And when I talk about President Trump, I'm not going to talk about his politics, and I'm not going to talk about his character. Because as a steward of my client's savings, any my interest is really what President Trump, what impact he'll have on the value of my client's investments, on their ability to generate a regular, tax-efficient, lifelong income so they can continue to live life on their own terms. So President Trump, it's been coined the Trump effect. Now, why am I so sure that the Trump effect is so important on everyone's mind? Well, the thing that really struck home for me was a couple of weeks ago, oh, mid-January, a client of mine named Shelley came into the office. Now, Shelley, I've been dealing with Shelley for, oh, 16, no, 18 years now. It was shortly after her husband died that she came to me. And each year she comes in and says nothing about the stock market. She says really nothing about her investments. What she's interested in is does she still have enough money to support the lifestyle that she's become accustomed to living? I show her a progress report and say, yes, we're doing fine. You can continue on. She's very happy. This year she came in, sat down. We didn't talk very much before she said, Darren, what effect will Donald Trump have on my portfolio? Well, my jaw dropped. If Shelley's thinking about what effect Donald Trump's going to have on her portfolio, I'd suggest just about everybody's thinking about it. Marilyn, have you been thinking about President Trump? How can you not? Every day in the news, every single day. We won't get into politics, but what happened with Shelley? What did you tell her? Well, you know, of course, I have been thinking about President Trump myself. But remember, not about politics, not about character, but for the purpose of helping my clients manage their livelihoods. I try to take the emotion out of it and make decisions based on facts. From these facts, I develop a conclusion. From my conclusions, I take action with confidence, but as always, with an ear to the ground for things that could jeopardize that plan. So here are three facts about the Trump effect. How will President Trump affect your investments? The first fact. The U.S., Canadian, and global economies are good. We are already, and at the moment continue to be, in one of the best and most profitable phases of the investment cycle. When you look through history, you can see there's a very common pattern of what happens with investments from the end of one recession to the start of the next. It happens over and over, just like clockwork. Through that cycle, there's something called phase five. We're at the beginning of phase five. Phase five is a time when interest rates rise, stock markets rise, and global growth all rise at the same time. It's the only time in the investment cycle that it happens, and it's a very long and profitable cycle. It is a fact that that's where we currently are. It's a fact that right now the economy is good. Fact number two. From the moment of President Trump's election, he has talked about enacting policies to reduce taxes reduce regulation, and focus on keeping the U.S. economy strong. These things are good for business and good for investment. Fact number three. President Trump has also talked about enacting social policies that may be divisive and disruptive for the country. The recent uh, visa policy is an example of that. He's also talked about opening up and scrapping trade deals. Uh, Slowing global trade is bad for business. So there are parts of what President Trump could do that would certainly be bad for business. So what we have 
is the fact of a fundamentally good economy and good environment for business and investments, and a wild card, the new president, that could make all of that even better or break it and knock it off the rails. So what is my conclusion? I have three conclusions. One, we have a positive outlook for investments in 2017, 2018, right into 2019. Number two, so I recommend for those who can handle the inevitable ups and downs of stocks to own more stocks than bonds. And number three, as I always say, focus on high quality blue chip dividend paying stocks. Now as Peter Lynch, one of the most successful investors of all time was fond of saying, more people have lost money over time leaving their savings in low interest savings accounts and GICs anticipating a crash or a market pullback than ever lost money in a market decline. So we're not we're not taking money out of the market in anticipation of what President Trump might do that might go wrong. We're investing on the fact that things are good right now. So what did Shelley do? Well, we moved her tax-free savings account from very low return GICs to a prudently diversified portfolio of global blue chip dividend paying stocks. The change will provide more income and create more wealth for her over time which just helps to support her lifestyle. So basically, Darren, if I'm going to summarize this to my understanding, we have a two out of three chance that things are going to go well, and the third one is still under discussion. But the odds for the next year are good, and for the next three years likely good, and that if we do what you usually say by diversifying and by doing uh, dividend stocks, we are unlikely to take losses but have gains. Did I say that correctly? Well, that's very impressive, Marilyn. I hadn't thought about it in terms of the percentages, but you're right. Two of those three outcomes are very good. And the outlook is positive, so this isn't a time to change any of those basic fundamental rules of investing, which is invest for the long term in high quality investments and not pay so much attention to the noise about what, or mu- what might not happen with President Trump. Well, I think that you've really calmed me down because every morning I get up and I sort of shudder, to be honest with you, because of the Donald Trump. I I like the the idea of the Trump effect. If someone wants to talk to you about their portfolio, I know you advocate a second opinion and I believe in it as well, or they just want to talk about the Trump effect and how it affects them. Are you going to work today? I am, yes, Marilyn. So immediate gratification, people. I'm giving you Darren's number, 416 863 7501. You can call him and he will speak to you about the Trump effect or about how your portfolio is doing. You can have a second opinion and numbers are really interesting. I, I loved mathematics in school because they, they didn't lie. There was always a correct answer. So if you want to check your numbers and see if your money is can earn more, then Darren and his team can assess that for you. It's a complimentary, no obligation consultation. And I'm going to throw in coffee and parking. Yes, we always provide free coffee and free parking. And uh, Darren's office is downtown, right in the heart of the city. But I know that if it's difficult for you, he will accommodate you and come to you. So phone number 416-863-7501. Be proactive in your life. Learn from experts and then don't say, if only I'd known. Know that you've acted prudently and based on fact and information. Thank you, Darren, for joining us and look forward to learning more about the Trump effect and everything else you know about money because you definitely know an awful lot. Thank you. You're welcome, Marilyn.